Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to Fawar Makes Walkthrough Videos. Today we are going to look at how we can configure different policies on different groups. So in order to apply different policies, you have two possibilities. Either you can go with group profiling, um, which is a different topic. We are, uh, um, I'm not going to touch that topic today. Or there's a, there's a possibility to create different uh, groups or uh, manage devices groups and then apply different policies on different set of computers. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to apply different policies on IT help desk and admins. For example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create IT help desk uh, uh, policy over here. And I what I can do is uh, I can create a default policy, for example, for version 11. and then I'm going to create a new one, fresh one, and I'm going to say next over here because I have converted policies, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to create a policy with default settings, and I'll accept KSN use next, and I'll say it would be an active policy, and I would say I would like to amend few things on this policy just to show you the differences. Uh, finish and we want to continue creating this policy. I'll say yes. And if you look over here, I have all augmented protection components which are enabled over here. So to just show you something, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into security controls and in web controls, I would change certain settings over here. All right, so let's come back over here. So I have this policy over here and um, what I've done is I've just, uh, I've just deleted the extra policy. So let's go to properties of this policy and let's go to endpoint security controls over here for web control. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rule and I'm going to block by categories. I um, block social media for example. And I'm going to use social media block for this. And I'm going to block it for all the users who are part of this group. All right, and rather than allow, I would say block. I'll say OK. I'll say apply and OK. So currently, I don't have any machine over here if you look. So what I'm going to do is, just to show you, I'm going to go to Windows 7 machine. I'll open Mozilla. And I'm going to say facebook.com. So if you look over here, I have Facebook opened. Why it is open currently? Because my machine is part of other group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this machine to IT help desk right and now if I go over here this policy should be applied to this machine all right so this is applied to my Windows 7 machine which is workstation 01 so I'm going to go back over here I'm going to open Facebook over here. Now if you look over here, I am not able to open Facebook. It says secure connection fail. The reason why it is getting fail is because uh, this is HTTPS connection. So I cannot, uh, I cannot, I cannot open a packet 
and show my own message but in case if this website is on HTTP I would be able to see the error message of Kaspersky over here so now if I want to open a Facebook again for this user I can simply move this machine from here to admins back and let this policy get applied to this machine now let's wait for it so this policy is applied to this machine again because this machine is over here now if we go back and try to open Facebook you can see now my Facebook is responding and I'm not going to see that error message again thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos please comment subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products I'm talking about.